Hey Michael with X-Force PC. I've got a uh, had a customer that having trouble setting up their Flight Stick Pro from CH Products. And uh, you know, talked to them on the phone and it's just not coming together. So I'm so I've never actually hooked a Flight Stick Pro up to version 11 and tried to program it. So let's do that now. So what I'm going to do if you, I'm going to plug my, I just took this out of the box, I'm plugging the stick in and you'll notice it installing the drivers here. You just want to use the standard Windows joystick drivers and I'm plugging it into a USB 2.0 port because that is preferred for anything that doesn't need USB 3, especially peripherals. You always want to try to use a USB 2.0 port for um, you know, for that device so that you don't run into any conflicts with, um, I don't know, the fact that the USB 3 just doesn't like it. The little thing went away, which indicates that the joystick or the flight stick has been, um, I'm going to ignore this update of X-Plane. This is public beta 13 I'm going into. So anyway, when that little box goes away down there, you know the drivers for Windows have been installed. Um, we're going to skip that and we're going to go to start a new flight. But then when we go to start a new flight, it wants us to calibrate the joystick. So I'm going to calibrate it now. Uh, I'm going to go left and right, left and right. You see the bar moving there where it says roll. I'm going to go forward and back, forward and back where it says pitch. And then throttle is this one on the left, forward and back, forward and back. Uh, the roll, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to accept because it's not making it all the way over to the right side. So I'm going to have to manually accept that axis. And then go to next. And then it says let go of your controls and center. Okay, next. And it's finding the center position. And finish. Now I can look over here on the right side, I can see where everything is. Um, my throttle, that's the throttle. Yeah, I'm not blocking you. The roll left and right seems to be working. The pitch up and down is working. Again, I, th I'm doing this right off the cuff. I'm not even, um, this is not rehearsed. The other thing here you can look at is um, your view. You can go to a side view and that allows you to see this button number three and the hat switch is also visible uh, it's visible in the front and the side view I'm just gonna hit done I'm gonna start a flight in the Cessna Sorry, it takes a minute for explaining the load. Now one thing you can do if you're troubleshooting your stick or pedals or yoke is you can output to the cockpit display what is actually going on, what signals are being sent to X-Plane. So the other thing you can do is go into a chase view on your plane and you can look and see what the control services are doing. I'll turn the volume down here. So I'll do one, the, the, the chase view thing. We want an external chase view, which is shift eight, but I don't have that memorized. And then I can zoom in a little bit. And we can see when I go left and right, we can see what the ailerons are doing and the rudder as well. We can also see the elevator going up and down. But you see when I do the ailerons, it gives me it automatically gives me some nose wheel and some rudder because we don't have pedals hooked up. So all that checks out. Um, I can go look down at the throttle and do it. And you see the throttle going in and out there. So that looks good. Um, but if for some reason, you know, I'm still having trouble I can go to settings, data output, and I can output to the cockpit display the joystick, aileron, elevator, and rudder. And so when everything is completely centered, the ele elevator, aileron, and rudder should all say zeros up here. 
When I go all the way to the left, the aileron goes to negative one. All the way to the right, the aileron goes to positive one. And you can also see what the rudder's doing. Same with the elevator. Pull it all the way back, it goes to positive one. All the way forward, it goes to negative one. And that's pretty much it. Um, if, if you still are having trouble, then you can go back into this setup uh, for the joystick. And we're going to go to the front view. And you can, if you want to know which one of these is which, just move it. So I'm going to go like this, forward and back. And if for some reason this didn't say pitch right here, I would just hit the drop down and change it to pitch. The same with roll. Uh, this axis, you notice when I go left and right, you see that blue bar moving left and right? The blue bar? Well, I would just hit this if it didn't already say roll, and I would change it to roll. And then throttle is the same way. Move the axis that you want to be the throttle, and if for some reason it didn't say throttle, you would choose throttle from the drop-down list. You can also reverse these axes. Sometimes they'll behave in the opposite from what you might expect. Like if I gave it full throttle and it actually gave me idle, and then idle actually gave me full throttle, well then I'd come in here and reverse that axis. So that's uh, setting up the Flight Stick Pro. There are additional things you can set up. All these buttons, it's kind of the same thing. You see this is button number four. Um, you just go down here to the buttons, and right now it's set to toggle, brakes, regular effort. And you can change that if you want the hatch switch the same way. You just hit these little drop downs and change it to whatever you want. And let's take off or start a take off and let's see. Of course you always got to give it a little right rudder in the uh, this is the no, this is Cessna 172 I believe. And then just pull back on the stick and we are taking off. And there we go. Everything seems to work fine.